see how did it go. Yeah, it was okay, but you're a little bit tired now. Yeah, that's completely understandable. We have wrapped up a little bit later than usual today. We are usually finished by eight o'clock, so we've definitely gone a little bit over schedule today, for sure. But are you feeling a little bit better now that it's all completed and now that you get to go home? Yeah, you're feeling good. All right, let's go see. So what I'd like to offer, and it's completely up to you, you don't need to take me up on this offer if you don't want to, but I just like to give the offer of me taking your makeup off and removing all your hair clips and just brushing your hair through a little bit before you go home just to make it easier so that when you go home you can just eat and go straight to bed yeah does that sound really good okay good yeah i can absolutely do that basically i do really enjoy doing that i feel like it makes me a little bit more relaxed as so. well okay Okay, so before we get started, do you want me to get you a drink? We have lots of different herbal teas here available. No, are you sure? What about some water? No? Okay. Will you just go ahead and let me know if you do want one, okay? And I can just go and nip and get one. Yeah. I also want to spray a little bit of fragrance into the room. I feel this just helps us get a little bit more relaxed and also just calms you a little bit if you've been quite stressed during the day, which I know with timing it may seem, yeah, you have, you've been stressed, okay. So we do have two fragrances that I do like to use after shoots. This is a lavender and lemon balm and then I have a coconut and lavender as well. So which one would you prefer me to use? This one? Yeah. Okay. I think this is my personal favorite as well. So I will just spray it on your clothing if that's okay. Yeah. And then I'll also spray it just around as well. I think it just really helps to make you feel a little bit more relaxed. And I don't think you can go wrong with lavender. It's such a beautiful smell. And then I'll just spray some around us as well. Okay. What I will do now is take the clips from your hair. You do have quite a lot in. You can see that there's quite a lot around the front as well. Okay, so we can definitely get those out. And then let me just take a look at the back. Yeah, so there's quite a lot at the back as well, isn't there? Yeah, and that's absolutely fine. So what I think we do is we start by taking those out and then I will move on to removing your makeup, okay? Sometimes people say that clips in their hair don't feel too great. No, so we just want to get them off, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let me just get my comb and we can begin. This is sore or painful. I'm just working the comb just in between the clips just to get the hair up there because it is a little bit tight and I don't just want to pull on the hair to take those clips out, okay?
think that was a little bit stuck, wasn't it? It felt a little bit like it was pulling on the hair. So the really good thing about having your hair up for shoots, as I'm sure you're probably aware, is that your hair has been protected and it's not caught knotty or tangled. It's quite good under there, okay? Alright, there's just quite a few more here. So I'll just take those out as well. You can just lean your head down a little bit. I'm just going to work on your bangs, okay? Just to make sure that we've got those just right. Yeah, and you can lift your head back up now. Thank you. some on and all you need to do then tomorrow or the next day is just wash it off as normal so you just go and shampoo it and condition as normal afterwards but this just really helps the ends okay and your hair is in beautiful condition anyway but I do like to just do this as one of my steps after a shoot I just feel like it really nourishes the ends okay so let me see I think I will use the, I might use the macadamia one, okay? I was thinking of going with just the coconut, but I do think that the macadamia would probably be more suited to your hair type, okay? Have you used any macadamia products before? No? Okay. So they are a little bit rich, so you only need a very small amount, so probably around that much. And what I like to do is just rub it in and then just concentrate this on the ends. You can work it up onto the sides as well, but I would just avoid going right directly onto the roots. But if you are washing your hair straight away, then you probably could get away with doing that and you'd be absolutely fine. Okay, if you can just lean forward again, I'm just going to get these bangs in there as well, just the very ends of those bangs. Okay. Yeah, and you can pop your head back up. Thank you. I'm going to make sure the back is done as well. Alright. Now, do you want me to just put your hair up in? 
in a very simple ponytail just to get everything off of your face. Yeah, yeah, I can do a messy bun if that's better for you. Absolutely, we definitely don't need to do a restrictive hairstyle. So I can just put something really loose in, okay, just to make it a little bit more relaxing to have it up. I know it's not the most comfortable to have a very restrictive bun, is it? do a double knot in that as well, but just go ahead and let me know if that's too tight. I don't want to make it uncomfortable. What does that feel like? I know it's okay and you still feel relaxed. It's not pulling on your scalp. No? Okay, good. All right, just going to add a hairband as well, just to get the hair off of your face around here. All right, so if you can just lean down a little bit. Thank you. I'm just going to do that again because we didn't get those very front pieces. There we go. Okay. Still feeling okay? Yeah, it's not too tight around the front. Okay, good. Alright, so let's get to your makeup now then. I do think, yeah, you are wearing quite high coverage, aren't you? Yeah, okay, that's absolutely fine. Let me just see. Okay, yeah, so we will have to do probably a double cleanse, okay? And just to make sure everything's taken care of, I don't want you to go home with any remaining makeup on, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go sanitize my hands. Now, do you want me to wear gloves whilst I'm doing this? I'm absolutely fine doing that. No, you don't mind? Okay, well, I will sanitize my hands really well and then we'll get started, okay? You're wearing lashes as well, aren't you? Oh, you're not? Those are your natural lashes? Okay, well, they look really good. I thought they were false eyelashes. Yeah, okay. And... Yeah, so there's quite a bit of a heavy base, isn't there? Yeah, so as I said, we want to really make sure we're removing all of that. Okay. Now, do you have any sensitivities to anything? No, you're okay. Yeah. All right. I will use really gentle products anyway, but if you do feel any irritation or burning or any discomfort at all, you just go ahead and let me know. Okay. Yeah. All right. So first of all, I will just be doing a makeup removal with a muslin cloth, okay? And I just do this as a very first stage because I just want to make sure that we're taking the makeup off before we go ahead with the cleanser. You can just pout your lips. I just want to make sure we're getting all of the lip products off as well. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. So do you have something prepared to eat when you get home? You do? Good. Okay. I want to make sure that you're actually having something. I know how easy it is to go 
home and just go straight to sleep, but it's really important after such a long day that you are making sure you eat. Oh, you have some pizza. Well, that's a really good choice. again for me. Thank you. I'm just going to run this on your eyes. Yeah, I think pizza is probably my guilty pleasure too. It's probably my favorite meal. Okay, so let's put your cleanser on now. Now I am going to use a cleanser for combination skin. I do know that you have a little bit of a breakout on your forehead, so I do think this would be a good cleanser for you, but I do have more of an astringent one if you wanted me to use that. No, you're probably combination. Okay, that's good. I know some of my combination clients don't like me to use anything too oily on the skin. They really want something astringent, and it's not necessarily um, always the best, but I want obviously to make sure you're feeling comfortable. I don't want to use something that you're not comfortable with. Okay, so it may be better if you close your eyes, but it's absolutely up to you. It's just because I will be going across your face and I don't want to accidentally get anything into your eyes, okay? Charge this in. I'm just going to use a tool as well just to really work that in, okay? But it shouldn't feel uncomfortable. It may just feel a teeny little bit scratchy, okay? But not scratchy in an uncomfortable way. Yeah, it feels okay. I'm good. I just like to warn you, I don't want to use anything that you're not comfortable with. I know that you have to wear lots of makeup for the shoots, but gosh, you really don't need to on a day-to-day -day basis, do you? Your skin is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Alright, so let me just see what I think we should go ahead and do next. Because I'm wondering whether we could actually use a mask that you could leave on, okay? Now, I know you do have the breakouts on your forehead, which you can barely notice. Do you want me to use a, a separate mask for that area? Because I do feel like the rest of your skin 
is a little bit on the drier side. Yeah, you typically quite dry on the cheek area. Okay, yeah. So let me use a different mask there. We'll just use this one on your cheek area. And this is just a really hydrating one. It does have cucumber in as well, and it does have a little bit of lavender, so it's really soothing on the skin. But I do find this to be really effective at just calming the skin down a little bit after makeup, okay? Especially heavy makeup. Alright. Now for your forehead, I'm going to use... First of all, I think it's just put a little bit of toner on. So this toner has some tea tree in, okay, which is really good for any breakouts. I find that to be really effective. Yeah, so let's go ahead and pop the toner on first. So I'll just cover your eyes, sweetie, okay? Because I'm going close to your eyes there. And there we go. And now, yeah, so let's use mask, I think. So, like the one that I popped on your cheeks, you can absolutely just keep this on overnight and it will just help soothe the skin, but also just targets the breakouts as well. So it does have a little bit of niacinamide in as well, okay? Which again is really effective. How does that feel? Yeah, good, okay. Are you feeling a little bit more relaxed now we've taken the makeup off? You've got your hair all tied back? Yeah, I'm good, I'm glad. Now I will just finish this off with some under eye pads as well, okay? Now you can go home with these on and just remove them before you get into bed, okay? I just really like to use these. I just sit with the under eye area. Okay, so you can close your eyes if you want to, but I can just get them under there as well. Alright, how does that feel? Yeah, they're really cooling under the eyes, aren't they? I really like them. I do actually pop these into the fridge as well, so they're extra cooling. I'm glad that they feel good. Okay, and just under this one. Okay, there you go. Now let me take a look. Hmm, okay, what I think I will do is, if you're okay with it, is pop some body moisturizer just on your shoulders and your arms and a little bit on your neck and your decollete as well, okay? Yeah. It does look a little bit dry, so we can definitely target those areas, okay? So if you just hold out your arm, thank you. Moisturize quite regularly. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, but the hot weather has been bothering it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sympathize with that. I have a very similar problem. I think my skin just gets so dehydrated. You can pop it down now. Thank you. It gets so dehydrated in the summer. Okay. Just going to do your other arm. Yeah, and you can lift that up for me. Thank you. I'm just going to get in the back there. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit on your neck and your chest as well. 
Okay, how does that feel? Yeah, good. So that is everything. Is there anything that you usually include in your regimen at home when you're taking off your makeup? No? Okay. Let me see. Yeah, so I can put a little bit of balm on your lips as well if you wanted to, but I know some people are not too keen on that. Yeah, you're open to just a little bit. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So let me get my balm. you're welcome to go home and get to your lovely pizza. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe just a little drink for us. Yeah, sure. Do you want some lavender tea? Or we have green tea. We have chamomile tea. Yeah, some chamomile. Okay. So let me go get that and I will also get myself a drink and then we can have a little bit of a chat as well about this shoot. Yeah. <laughs> 